my dear viewers today in this episode i have come to discuss about distant protection relay its working principle and protected zones by this relay generally used distance relay one of such instrument is generally used to protect medium and long transmission lines provides faster tripping that is no time intention distance protection relay is a double actuating relay with one of its coil is energized by voltage supplied by pt and the other coil is energized by current supplied by ct the current element produces an operating torque while the voltage element has caused a restraining torque in normal operating condition restraining torque is more than operating torque hence the relay will not operate but in faulty condition of line the current becomes quite large whereas voltage becomes less consequently operating torque becomes more than restraining torque and dynamic part of the relay starts moving which ultimately close the inner contact of a relay to operate protection finally causes opening of circuit breaker meant for the line hence it is clear operation or working principle of a distance relay is depend upon the ratio of system voltage and current as the ratio of voltage and current is nothing but impedance so a distance relay is also known as impedance relay the relay operates only when the ratio of voltage and current falls below a preset value the distance protection is high speed protection and is simply to apply it can be employed as a primary as well as backup protection as discussed earlier during normal operating condition the restraining torque of voltage coil fed from pt is more than operating torque by current coil hence relay contacts remain in open position when a short circuit fault occurs in the transmission line the current in the operating coil increases the speed of operation of relay depends upon the level of fault that is quantity of current in the operating coil again speed of actuation of relay approximately proportional to the current in the operating coil hence time of operation is inversely proportional to current suppose this is a transmission line power is sent from bus a of one substation to bus b of another substation and the transmission line is protected by distant protection scheme from both end the discussion is limited only at or from one end that is from bus a end the location of ct and pt relay and circuit breaker are shown here during the fault the magnitude of current increases and the voltage at the fault point decreases the fault is nearer measured voltage is lesser and if the fault is further measured voltage is more if fault is nearer measured current is more and if fault is further measured current is lesser the ratio of current and voltage is measured at the location of the current transformer and potential transformer the voltage at potential transformer during fault depends on the distance between the location of pt and 
fall point hence assuming constant fault impedance each value of the ratio of voltage and current measured from relay location comparable to the distance between the relaying point and fault point along the line hence such protection is called the distant protection as the impedance of a transmission line is directly proportional to its length it can easily be concluded that a distance relay can only operate if fault is occurred within predetermined distance or length of line hence it can be said that the relay will only operate when the impedance of the line becomes less than predetermined impedance the operation of such relay depends upon the predetermined value of voltage to current ratio the ratio is nothing but impedance the relay will only operate when this voltage to current ratio becomes less than its predetermined value today's trend is toward the use of static distant protection for all types of line fault main and backup for short and medium and long transmission lines replacing old electromagnetic or electromechanical relays microprocessor based static or electronics relays have taken its place due to its multi character operating system these relays have been developed on some prime parameters like time voltage current impedance of conductor and length of conductor the value of impedance of conductor varies directly with its length the distance relay in each substation has generally three stress characteristics with respective settings of z impedance and time t for each step in order to provide reliability distance protection is divided into number of zones mainly intended to cover the entire length of protective line length and said to operate instantaneously that is with no intentional time delay zone one distance is set 80 to 90 percent of the line and not 100 percent it is called under reach safety margin of 10 to 20 percent is kept for relay ctpt errors and inaccuracies of line parameters zone 2 distance is set rest 10 to 20% of protected line plus 50% of adjoining line length it's set to cover remote end buzzword and hence it is called as an overreach it is set at 150% of protected line length that is 100% of protected line length plus 50% of the shortest adjoining line length which ever is less the operating time of zone 2 is delayed by 15 to 45 cycle time so as to 
be selective with zone 1 of the adjacent line that is the zone 1 relays are supposed to trip get a chance to do their job fast Operating time of zone 3 should be more than the zone 2 operating time. Distance relay at B toward A will have same kind of zone protections. Any fault at X1, say earth fault, both side protection will operate and it will be under zone 1 protection because fault happened at zone 1 of both. But any fault at X2, zone 2 protection at A and zone 1 protection at B will operate because fault happened at different zones. So dear viewers, this was the explanation about distant protection relay and protected zones by the relay. If the video is liked by you, please don't forget to subscribe the channel with a view to encourage the channel for better next. Thank you.